2021, we began writing for an acoustic album. So we thought, you know, let's do an original track, acoustic. Like, let's try writing a song like we do when we break down these Bones tracks. We realized, you know, this is this is the last, like, fully finished song that we did with Andy before he died. I think we all just grew an attachment towards that song, given its emotion and the feeling it kind of provokes when you listen to it. And I think especially after everything happened, we came back and listened to that and we're like, holy shit, this needs to be on the new record. The first session that we did after he passed. We're like, all right, we need to add strings and stuff, add this new element. And so I contacted our friend, uh, Danny Torgerson. I like asked him if he could help do the arrangement and if you could find people to play on it. What's going on? Where are we at? What's going, what's going on right now? What are we doing? We're about to dive into the violas. Show me your areolas. It's time for violas. And for me, that was the first time I had recorded strings. So I was a little nervous, like, how are we going to get this to sound, you know what I mean? Like, in the new context of not having Andy, it's like, everything felt a lot deeper and the lyrics were more heartfelt. The way Andy sang and his rasp and his voice, and it was just so genuine. I remember, like, after the last person left, I just, like, broke. I was, like, holding it in the whole day just to, like, get through the session, you know what I mean? It's funny now, looking back, we kind of, like, make jokes or laugh about it because I remember Ryan being like, oh, yeah, that's the first thing we need is just hearing a violin all day long while we're listening to his voice. And, like, literally, I think that's what broke me at the end of the night, you know? 